Hey guys, welcome back to another video and uh, our first episode in our how-to series. Today I'm going to show you how to mix some some mortar or what we call it here in Australia mud. So first I'll show you my materials. So we've got the uh, general purpose cement from a cement Australia or GP, simply GP. Got our sand as well, otherwise known as muckadilla brick sand, um, which is the most common sand we use here in Australia and. Uh, some water and also we've got uh, some lime juice not the not the juice you use in cooking but um, the liquid variant of hydrated lime and uh, we'll get we'll get going with this mix so the ratio we use in Australia is uh, 6 1 1 which is 6 sand 1 cement and 1 lime um, so I'm gonna crack this uh, this mixer on and uh, we'll get going. So I'm going to start filling up these buckets. Uh, a common theme here in Australia is uh, just filling up the mixer by shovel, but I feel with, uh, with buckets it's easier to measure and also you can prevent um, colour variations in the, in, in the mud. So I'm going to get shoveling and uh, let's do it. So these buckets, as I said in, in my trailer setup video, they're 20 litre buckets. But you can use whatever buckets just as long as they're all the same. And um, I don't fill these up right to the top because um, because if you fill them right to the top, the uh, it doesn't it fills the mixer too much and it won't mix properly. So I fill them up to about that much as you can see. You know, I just make sure they're all they're all even. Something like that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll just use my hose for this one. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to fill it up to the to the inside circle. It's a, it's almost there. Um, just to start off with, and then we can always add a bit more water later on. So. Yeah, so as you can see, it's up to the it's up to the circle. So we're going to add our lime, uh, and then add our cement, and then we'll add our sand last. So, so with this, we add one cap, uh, this cap, and um, that'll be enough for the whole mix. This is uh, this is cheaper than um, hydrated lime, and. Uh, when it comes to lime, I think you can only you can only make like 10, 10 batches per bag. With this bottle, you can it lasts almost the whole job. So if you're looking for an alternative to hydrated lime, I say get that because it's, it's it's a lot better. So I'm gonna open my cement bag now and then put that in first. Another common thing here in Australia is that they put half the sand in and then put the cement. But I feel if you put the cement in first. It stops, oh, it's a lot cleaner and it stops it from um, flying out of the mixer and, and, and into the air where you can breathe it. So as you can see, it doesn't come out so much. Whereas, whereas if you do sand, half sand, and then put your, your cement in, it'll start flying out a lot more than what it is at the moment. So, I'll let that spin for a little bit and then start adding in my sand. So all this cement on the sides and on the um, on the back there, I'll, I'll give it a quick spray before I add my sand, and then um, and then go from there. Have a look. As you can see it's really dry. We're gonna have to add a lot more water. 
as well as just letting it mix. You don't want to add too much water, otherwise it'll come out like soup. You don't want that. Especially in these conditions today, they're really bad. It rained earlier today as well, or well, this morning. So we want to make sure this mud's not too too wet and um, enough so that we can so we can actually use it. So. On my very first video, I um, I didn't use buckets. So I mixed it by shovel, but that was because that job was um, was branded. So it didn't really matter what the proportions were with sand. But on a on a builder's house like um, like the one I'm working on, it we need to um, we need to work with regulations. And one of their uh, one of their key points is uh, color variation. So. We're trying to avoid that by using buckets, and um, if we use shovels, we we risk uh, having color variation. So this batch is almost done, and uh, might need some, might need a bit more water, but I'll I'll just have a look. So as you can see, it's almost it's almost done. I reckon add like a little bit of water, and uh, should be good to go. I haven't actually pointed out, but whenever I spray the mixer, I'm always spraying the bowl because if you if you're cleaning the bowl, it helps the mud spin um, spin easier rather than spraying the the mud itself. So you're sort of killing two birds with one stone. And whenever it comes to adding water, you would never want to add too much, otherwise your batch will be too wet. And if you try to add more sand to make it more drier, it's going to um, make the mortar or mud a bit a bit lighter. So we don't want that. So if you check that out, that's pretty much good to go. Now I'm just going to get my wheelbarrow ready. Spray the wheelbarrow before putting the mud in. To get it out, always want to put one hand here, pushing down, and then your opposite hand pulling down with the with the handle. I use for, for the mixer just to get all the mud out. So as you can see that that ratio creates a full batch of mud. Uh, no more, no less. And um, obviously we spray our mixer. Because if you leave it if you leave it unattended like that with no water in it it'll it'll dry up and ruin Ruin your mixer. So wet the shovel and uh, good to go. So you can see, have a look. Look at the mud. Nice and uh, nice and creamy. Um, good for the bricklayers to use. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the. Hope you guys enjoyed our our first Power Two series video. Uh, Give it a like if you enjoyed it and uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see something else on our how-to series but until next time uh, see you on the next one <laughs> <laughs>